Hello everyone and welcome back to Tin Can. In my first attempt at this game, I did it during a Twitch live stream and I handled the survive 6 minutes and survive 10 minute challenges. Though it doesn't seem to read my best time so far up here. Uh, it did not register those, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that it would. But anyway, I did those and presented video evidence, so you guys have that. And in this video, I am not live streaming, and I'll attempt the survive 15 minute and survive 20 minute challenges, assuming I do the 15 minute one. And hopefully this time I'll be less distracted, that seemed to perturb some commenters that uh, I may have been not as attentive as I ought to have been. But of course I was live streaming and also it was directly after a 3 hour stream of Kerbal Space Program, so that's my excuse. But with my luck I'll probably do even worse this time. Of course we do have more substantial challenges to deal with. Uh, but before I do these two, or hopefully these two, I will uh, take a look at what we have under challenges. There are uh, eight special challenges here. One button to rule them all, fireworks, will it ever end, etc, etc, etc. So those are options as well. There is a ranking section and a let a friend help you out with the PDF version of the pod manual is an option. Error codes are left encrypted and the manual is gone from the pod. You can find it in your library or a Steam store page, so that's an option. Uh, and then this ranking, training, and leaderboard. Oh, leaderboard is a whole other screen, apparently. Let's see what the leaderboard looks like. I mean, wow, five hours. Cause of death electrocution, though. Ten deaths. Wait a minute. There can be multiple deaths? I, I don't understand exactly how this works. Um, I thought once you die, you die, but there's a number of deaths here. Uh, so, they're, they're long long times. I mean, in theory I did for 10 minutes, but it's not registering me. <laughs> or maybe uh, I, 16 in total because I did the two challenges. If it's a total thing, then I would be somewhere around here, but... Mm, well, the first time I actually uh, did five minutes and then died and failed. So if it's a real sum of over all the things, I would have one death in 21-ish minutes. Uh, I don't see myself here, so okay. Well, anyway, I don't know how legit this best online scores is or how you get a score, so... Oh well. Anyway, there is that. The sandbox mode I don't really see a point in because I'm sort of a test pilot kind of person, and the general rule for test pilot is you don't touch anything if nothing's going wrong. I mean, and you don't know what you're doing if you have no, if you don't have a specific reason to be touching something, you're not going to. So, oh, the only thing that can kill you here is yourself. Well, I'll just be sitting there. So I guess I would poke around a little bit, but anyway, we did do the tutorial. So anyway, those are the things that are part of the game, and let's try to survive for 15 minutes. I'll try to remember to use both hands. Okay, here we go. And let's grab an air filter, grab large processor. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oop. Okay. Uh, where's more stuff? More stuff. Okay, uh, those are small things. I don't know, I assume that... Oops. See? Not automatic. Uh, I assume that bigger things will be more replacement units. Okay. That'll have to be it. But I don't even know if we can use the recycler yet. Okay, so what do we have? Well, carbon dioxide is low. We can just change channel. It's on battery. That's the 2NOA thing. Alright, pod technical manual. See, now, I don't know if we need to fix the computer or not. 
Okay, so we, we can shove components in there, but is it worth it? Main computer displays a general status of all systems in the pod and provides understandable errors on each system monitor. Uh, without the main computer, error codes in each system will re require you to check the manual. Well, I can check the manual, so we can probably deal with that. Okay, uh, high capacity electrical storage. We've got stuff in here though. Large processor. Um, well, that's a large processor. That's logical. On off button. Yeah, we need one of those. I don't know if I should be doing this. We could probably do something else. Just need a buzzer. Okay, well, data connector, maybe. Okay, we're, we're getting inundated. Um, okay, uh, let's assume that that's good. Power. Okay, let's check on our systems. I don't really, really need the, the, the computer, I don't think, maybe. We don't have pressure regulation, apparently. Okay, or, oops, I keep doing that too. Um... It seems usable, but maybe we don't. Oh, use the fire extinguisher to fix. Oh shoot! Um, what was the button for? Okay, I I can't. Okay, this is new. I don't remember where the fire extinguisher was. Great. Oh shoot. Uh, and uh, some button. Hold on. Hold on. Some button is the light, but I don't. The flashlight tab. Tab. I would never have guessed tab. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, where is the fire? I was told to extinguish a fire. This is much more of a problem right now. Okay. Oh. oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Um, grab, grab. Okay, well. Oh shoot. Yeah, this is off to a great start. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> why, why does my flashlight go off? And where is the fire? Well, we know artificial gravity isn't working. We know power doesn't seem to be working. Oh, oh, ah. Uh. Oh, shoot, it turned off again. Ah. Uh. Um. Well, yeah, that's not working. Anyway, that's probably. Maybe we didn't have that going on anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I don't know, my light keeps turning off too. Uh, well, whatever. Can we just... Can we just spray everything? Spray everything. Okay, well, hypoxia, yeah, let me, let's start that again. I don't know if we're going to get the same situation, but I don't exactly know where to start on that one. Okay, well, yeah. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. 
I need more on-off buttons, but I'll take the power connectors. Oh, okay, that's fine. No, I think we have enough on-off buttons, though. Okay. Have to toggle. I miss, missed the processor, didn't I? Shoot. I think we we have two large processors. Connector. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know if there's anything else we need there. Power. Power connector. Use. I mean, but then, will it just get knocked out by whatever knocks everything else out? I don't know. Is that good enough? Can we turn it on now? Oh, okay. Things are happening. Air pressure online and there's no data. So we've got a computer system. But it's got to get knocked out by whatever hurts us anyway, so I don't know whether this is any good or not. I might as well get the fire extinguisher ready. <laughs> I'll just turn off the main computer. Maybe it will save it? I don't know. You can play basketball on that thing, I guess. Now, last time the fire was over here. What if the game understands that I've taken the fire extinguisher? Well, we've got... Okay, well, there it is. Maybe we have to get closer. I still hear a fire, but I don't see a fire. Maybe they've just got the loop going forever or something. Okay, let me see if the computer can still be turned on. Apparently not. Okay. So... Let's check the generator, but I mean, what am I gonna do with it? Got nothing coming out of it. Um, nope. It's not got to turn on. Right, so yeah, we don't have that at all. And sort of releasing the oxygen is not a good plan. I need a battery. That will work. Ah, oh, fudge. I'm stuck here. Yeah. This pod sure doesn't have much air, does it? Is there a way to put a battery in here? 
Okay. We've got battery. Well, putting a battery in did not work. Well, it's not a very good battery, is it? I need to find a battery that isn't dead. Well, survived about the same time. We need to charge up a battery. We need to have a battery ready. Okay, I might be doing the 15 minute one for a while. Oh, there's a battery? Awesome. We need all the batteries. I mean... Yep. We have batteries, folks. We just need to push the button. Alright, we've got batteries! Okay, I want to charge up some batteries. <laughs> um, uh, do you have a battery in you? You have a battery that actually is good. Let me take you out. <laughs> just in case you get shorted by whatever hits us. Okay. And there's another battery there. This one does have a battery. We'll leave things as they are otherwise. I'll get to work on this again, I suppose. Artificial gravity, though. Okay. They place the large processors in different places sometimes. If only the computer could like steer us to some other place far away from danger or something. Maybe I should just leave these out for now. I mean, it's gonna get blown, right? As long as we don't have the power units in it, it'll probably be alright. I don't know if the electrical situation will hurt that. Let me get the fire extinguisher ready. Not that I know that it does anything. The first time I tried this, I didn't even put out the fire. And I basically survived the same amount of time, so... Okay, alright. Uh. Seems like I put it out. Let's let's assume that that's the case. All right, let me grab a large battery. Open that up. <sighs> Try not to get underneath it. Take that one. Put that one in. I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, okay. No, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, M... MPAA. Maybe that just means that it's open, though. Let me get my manual. Oh. I need to recharge my battery here. We're making progress, I swear. Okay, MPAA. I still hear the fire, but MPAA bad fuse. Okay, we'll start with that. Power connector. We had fuses here. Fuse. Okay, where did it go? Alright, open. Fuse. Fuse. Oh, did it kill the power again? Shoot. Okay, no. Well, I replaced the fuse. That problem is gone, but we've got different ones. Oh, I can't see the darn thing. And there's more things. BKEE. 
Or maybe I should just replace everything. <laughs> Empty bottle. Okay, well. I'm getting cold. I don't care about getting cold. I'm gonna. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Okay, well, it's not an empty bottle anymore. Oh. But now I'm cold. <laughs> Great. Is this the bad fuse or the good fuse? I don't even know. Oh shoot, it's not turned on. Oh... Well, it's not the oxygen that's gonna kill me this time. <laughs> it's probably the CO2. Progress though. <laughs> well, I see a large battery there. Uh. Oh fudge. Get back down. Okay, well, it was definitely the CO2, but it's going down, so that's... Oh, hypothermia, though. Hot temperature, negative 10 degrees? What kind of a lightweight is this guy? Jerry. I hope it actually records my record this time. Okay, first thing, batteries. Oh, shoot. Let me see if there's more batteries over here. Well, let me just take what I can get then. Oops, wrong way. High capacity fuse sounds good. There was another fuse around, but I forget where it is. I'll take the power connector. Okay, and push. Okay, let's get things in slots. <laughs> let's get organized for once. Um, let me put the battery... Hopefully they don't get like... have a problem here. Oh, I guess we want the battery storage. Yeah, let's get the batteries in the battery storage. Let's be all tool-like. Well, let's get the oxygen... bottle. Oh, okay, well... I did not do that as fast as I was thinking I was going to do that. Okay. I'll take the power transformer and that. Uh, sure, why not? I like getting the CRT monitor. And we'll get a pump. Well, I forget. Air filter. More pump. Sure. High capacity fuse. And air filter. Sure. Okay. Okay. Just let's just pack everything. <laughs> I don't know. Having them all lie out here is actually maybe a little bit better. It's hard to get through the drawers because the drawers you have to open and close them all the time, and it's a hassle. And We'll just put the blown stuff in the drawers. Just dump everything outside. Organization is useless here. I will put the CRT there. Started with the large processor. This is the only place I know that needs a large processor, so... 
large power connector and transformer. I will put the large capacity fuse in here if we can. I think that's going to be important for the gravity system. And I will once again strip out the battery from this thing. Sometimes the temperature is an issue, sometimes it's not. But I'm going to take that battery first. One of my problems is I can't tell whether we've actually put out the fire or not most of the time. Hopefully this time it'll be clear. Oh, there it is. Try and get closer to it. I mean, it looks like it's out, right? Oh, but... Okay. It looks like I put it out, so... That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Okay, now that's got a... Battery. And I'm gonna swap the oxygen bottle. I can get in there. Okay. I don't know if the fuse is a problem. Let's just... Well, it seems to be increasing, so that's okay. For now. Let's get the CO2 ready. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's working. They're both working. They don't, they're not perfect or anything. Okay, okay, well, uh, KA02. Where did I put the manual? I haven't picked it up yet. Um, pod high CO2. Well, we know that. We know it's running on the battery. They both say 0NE4. Bad power con. But that's probably because of the reactor. MPAA. Well, okay. Hold on. This one's causing... Oh, we're getting too cold. Um... Okay. Uh, where did I put the... Okay, you. Oh, okay. Fudge. Okay, we're warming up. But we have other problems with it. MPAA again. Those are the same things that everything has. Let's see about the reactor. That'll solve all our problems if we could start it. But how do we start it again? Well, high capacity fuse probably needs replacing. Oh shoot, ah, uh, oh no. Okay, uh, uh, that one there. I think the large processor will be fine. I don't know. Oh, it's, I click start, but I don't think it's doing anything. I better check on everything else. That's, temperature's fine. Mmm, CO2's not. 
shoot. Um, that's a lot of things. A B T. Um, we're going through some stuff here. Uh, the battery's low. I don't think we're gonna have enough batteries soon. Oh, fudge. Something just hit us hard. Well, I put a new battery in. But the CO2 container's high. I think. Well. Okay. And is it going down? It's not really going down. Oh, and our oxygen thing ain't working anymore. And I can't start it. And the CO2 scrubber is not going. Okay. I, I don't suppose you're starting up at all. I don't know what it's got to take to get that working. Maybe the oxygen generator battery is out? It is. I don't have enough batteries to do it like I've been doing. Well, shucks. Yep, I'm all out of batteries laying around here. Well, we survived a little bit longer this time. Beacon's not been running, so I assume that that hasn't been counted. I mean, I don't think it's 50... It's 15 minutes with the beacon on, right? Does it count if the beacon's not on? Atomic shield. Yes. I've got to touch the atomic pile. Oh, uh, I think it wasn't from radio radioactivity. Oh, well. Um, well... 10 minutes and 41 seconds, so... Um, I guess it was the carbon dioxide. Okay, here we go again. It occurs to me that there was... There were emergency lights. I don't know if they'll work or not, but that might help things. Getting the reactor started right away might also be a good idea. If we can. There's a lot of stuff on our to-do list, let's face it. Oh, I forgot the CRT this time. I liked having the stuff at the bottom there. That was more convenient. And once again, we really don't need one there. Nitrogen bottle. So this nitrogen bottle and then there's this liquid nitrogen bottle that's for cooling for temperature purposes. And I'll take this battery out. And our emergency lights. Oh, there they are. They have a battery too. Well, and a fuse. Oh, oh. Get away from me. Get away from me. Okay, turn off the emergency lights. I didn't realize they were on. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I turned it off, didn't I? Oh well. Whatever, we'll leave the fuse in. Oh, maybe it's like that. Hold on. Okay, now we've got the fuse. And we'll take the power connector. And I'll just leave the emergency light thing on, because trying to press tab to turn on the lights all of with my uh, my little flashlight is very annoying. I guess we should take out the battery for the rescue beacon. Okay, here we go again. 
gravity generator would be awesome too, but I don't know how much effort that would take to get started again. Lots of stuff to get started and we're having enough trouble getting the air right. I think we could take out the battery of this one without any problems. This one... Oh, I guess so. Alright. Got all the batteries out. Oh, I wanted to switch the CO2 container right now. Okay. Um, Alright, well... Do we have a fire? I don't know the fire. Okay. Why can't I... Okay. I wanted to get to the emergency light thingy. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it's not the time to do the emergency lights though. Okay, emergency lights are good. For now. Okay, other things. I think we have a nicer one this time. I'm gonna switch out the oxygen tank. I can't go down. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I dumped it the wrong way. Okay, okay, that's in. Let's just not worry about that right now. And then the CO2. Uh, okay, we've got a battery in there. Okay, and it's it's working. All right, let's start the pile. Yeah, we, we didn't have the whole business with the... And I should get the temperature going again, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Well, something's going wrong because I'm... I guess I'm cold this time. Okay. Uh, I need to get down to the button. The button. Okay, it's going up. Alright, now let's work on the pile. You can press start. Oh, that went, that turned off. Is it because of the bad fuse thing? Okay, that is off. Is it a bad fuse, a bad power connector, or... Uh... Oh yeah, fuse, okay. That one's fuse. No, let's assume this one is a bad fuse too, but... I've got a lot of fuses running around now. Let's get the fuse from the pressure system. Okay, yeah. Okay, alright. How, how much... Oh, we were getting other problems. Okay, we might be able to get some lights at least, maybe? Regular lights, I mean. I don't know. Yes, regular lights. Let me toggle off the emergency lights. Okay. Ooh! Uh, right. 
I want to see the CRT monitor on this to see if it's got other problems. It's not generating a whole lot. MPAA. They're, they're, they seem to be operating okay, but we're going to get hit a whole lot. Okay, remind me what MPAA is, technical manual. Bad fuse. On the on that, we're gonna have a heck of a time. Okay, so high capacity fuse. All right, fine. Um, did we bring one on board? I don't think we brought it this time. Oh, there is one though. Okay, okay, okay. We need to turn off the pile temporarily, but then it doesn't immediately go off, right? Okay. All right. All right. Uh oh, that doesn't seem good. Okay. Um, CO two is going up. Oxygen's fine. That's fine. Um, we need. We need the lights again. I think I hear a leak. And there's a leak. Well, it's right next to the leak filter. Okay. I wanted the lights. Ah, there they are. There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 shoot. Alright, the CO2. Bottle's fine. Power's fine. AR-22. Uh, I'll clean the filter. Okay, I think it was the filter. Phew. Okay, um, maybe I should get the beacon back on. Uh, it's got a little bit of battery there. Oh. Wait, it does not count down while it's off. So, okay. Alright, uh, well, we're further along than usual. But how long can we get the atomic pile to? I mean, it's not heating up at all. Zero B A E. Yeah, B E A. Zero B E A. Let's figure out what that is. Hmm. Uh, bad power trends is no longer protecting system correctly from power surges. The tr power transformer. Okay, then that's probably a heavy duty power transformer, isn't it? Well, that's a power connector. Not really trend. Uh, we we used to have transformers in here. Previous tries, I had transformers, but I don't have a heavy power transformer this time. Um. There was another system. The gravity thing might have one. Yeah, large power transformer. Okay, we're gonna have to turn it off again. Okay. Okay, let's try that one. Well, now we're not seeing anything on the computer. Because we're getting lights though.
Okay. Okay, that's a lot of bad things. Um, okay, let's see. Let me just take the battery and put in a new one for now. Where do we recharge batteries anyway? I should probably have gotten the computer started, huh? Okay, there's the manual. Uh oh. Oh, great. Oh, shoot. Okay, I shouldn't even need the flashlight for this, but. Bad caution alarm. Well, we'll ignore that. And a bad power connection. We don't need to worry about. And a low pump. Oh, but there's low oxygen in there. And we didn't put the other bo bottle in here. I don't even know where the other bottle is. Well, we're not gonna have enough oxygen. Are you because your bottle is full? Yes, your bottle is full. But so is the other one. Oh, well, it's not as full, I suppose. Well, the CO2 is going down-ish, but we're not going to have enough oxygen. I mean, at least, there's probably other problems here. I mean, there's definitely other problems here. Um, did it need more battery? I can't. Okay, 19 minutes and 3 seconds though. Which is more than the 15 minutes, but that's because we didn't have the beacon. <laughs> so, uh, definitely, well, I mean, some mixture of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The temperature was nice. Okay, alright, alright. I think I've had enough of this. So... Yeah, we will try again later. I I'm learning a few things, but I'm sure you guys will give me an earful as to how I did everything wrong. But um, yeah, I I'm annoyed that it doesn't log my best time so far, though. I don't know. Maybe it's a different thing that we have to do. And obviously it didn't have me in the rankings, so I don't know what the rules are for that. Oh, why it's not logging it. I, I have succeeded in the 6 and 10 minute one, so I don't know why that's not there. Maybe it only logs it for the longest one. Okay, yeah, well, there are a few techniques here, so... I hope you enjoyed seeing me dying. What can I say? With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.